Good morning, mighty men. There was a particular preacher in the Cane Ridge Revival, a Presbyterian minister named James McGrady, who came to Logan County, Kentucky in 1798. He was a, a large, imposing man with piercing eyes, a coarse voice. It was said that he was so ugly that he attracted attention. People would ask on the street, what does he do? And they were told he's a preacher. And the response would come, a man with a face like that must really have something to say. We well, wrote in his journal that the winter of 1799 was largely filled with weeping and mourning with people of God. McGrady's preaching so stirred his congregations that when the Red River Church uh, sponsored its annual communion in June of 1800, the spiritual climate was charged. On the fourth day, as one local minister preached, a woman who had been seeking the assurance for her salvation began shouting and singing. The preacher concluded his sermon and, and the ministers left the church except for a couple. Uh, one sat on the floor near the pulpit and began weeping. Soon the congregation was weeping, seeking full security of salvation. Another rose to preach and he encouraged the people to quote, let the Lord God omnipotent reign in their hearts and to submit to him. So people began to cry. Uh, they shouted. They fell down under the power of God with what they called ecstasy. We'll talk more about this the next time. But you're beginning to see what prayer and revival can do. Our scripture reading is in Numbers chapters 20 through 25. And I'm going to read 20 verse 2. Now there was no water for the congregation, and they assembled themselves together against Moses and against Aaron. And the people quarreled with Moses and said, Would that we had perished when our brothers perished before the Lord. They're talking about the plague. They're talking about the rebellion of Korah. Then Moses and Aaron went from the presence of the assembly to the entrance of the tent of meeting and fell on their faces. And the glory of the Lord appeared to them, and the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Take your staff and assemble the congregation, you and Aaron your brother, and tell the rock before their eyes to yield its water. So you shall bring water out of the rock for them and give drink to the congregation and their cattle. Let's pray. Lord, deliver us from the tendency like these Israelites to grumble and to complain against your chosen leadership. Lord, remind us of your constant faithfulness and care for us. Lord, we pray that you would make us more like Moses, uh, who sought you wholeheartedly, even falling on his face before you, and would go before you, Lord, and, and look for your glory. And Lord, we pray that you would give us that kind of desire to come before you in your tabernacle. Lord, would you send your glory once again, and would you pour out your revelation as you poured out this revelation to provide water for the people? Lord, we're asking that you would guide us through these perilous days that are ahead. And we see there are things coming on the horizon. Lord, give us miraculous signs and provision like you did in that old that story from so many years ago. Lord, that we would have modern water from the rock. That you would pour it out, Lord. That we would have the spiritual water as well, Lord, as well as natural provision. Lord, we're asking for an outpouring once again and that we would experience your glory and the tabernacle of your presence in Jesus' name. Amen. We'll see you next time.